everyone, it's Daniel McCabe here again, and today we're shooting the second video in our series, answering all the frequently asked questions around battery storage and whether you want or need solar battery storage for your home or business. The second question that we're answering is how much is it gonna to cost to get a solar battery? So there are lots of variables here to consider. The first and most important is how much storage do you actually need? So what we're seeing quite commonly now in the industry is people selling and buying quite small batteries. And the reason for that is a smaller battery is obviously cheaper, so it's an easier thing to purchase. However, if you need 20 kilowatt hours of storage and you've only purchased a battery with say four kilowatt hours of storage, then you're not gonna get as much value as you're probably expecting from that battery. In addition to that, and probably more importantly, lots of people are purchasing batteries for blackout protection. And if you've only got a very small battery, it's not gonna provide much storage for when the power does go down, particularly if you're trying to run lots of appliances in your house. So the first thing to do is calculate what size battery do I need? How big is, how many kilowatt hours of storage do I want? And the way to do that is to have a look at how much energy you think you're using after sunset, after your solar panels have stopped working, and then you can reverse engineer that calculation basically to work out how much battery storage you need. Now there's more sophisticated ways of doing those calculations and we can certainly help with that if you'd like us to help size a battery for you. So first of all, work out how big a battery you need. That's the most important thing. Secondly, it comes down to which manufacturers you're most comfortable with and who the installer is for the solar system. So not all batteries are equal in the same way as not all solar panels or any appliances are equal. Some are better quality and some have different functionality. So once again, we can help further with that. If you're looking for a battery where you need more blackout protection, for example, you might lean towards one manufacturer. If you want a battery that's gonna be more cost effective, you might lean the other way. So choosing the right manufacturer for what you need and the right battery within that product line underneath that manufacturer is the second thing that you're gonna to need to do before you can calculate how much that battery is gonna cost. The third big one is where is the battery gonna be installed? If you have a house where we can put a battery right next to your switchboard inside and there's no additional work required outside of what we would consider to be a fairly standard battery install, it's gonna cost a lot less than if your battery needs to be far away from where your main switchboard is and there's more electrical work required in order to, first of all, make sure that system's gonna work properly, but then also potentially tick more boxes to make sure that it's installed safely and compliant with current safety standards here in Australia. So they're the three main things you need to, to calculate in order to get the cost. But to give you a generic answer, um, a battery here in Australia right now, at the time of recording, it's gonna cost anything from around $15,000 up to about $25,000. There are some situations where it will cost slightly less and some situations where there's lots of storage required where it will cost a bit more, but that's around your starting point if you wanted to have a ballpark. Now the value of that battery obviously is gonna be different for each person. We have got a previous video that goes through, is a battery gonna be worth it for you? So if you haven't looked at that, maybe check that one out. But batteries are offering more value now than they ever have done in the past. And a typical battery warranty from a reputable manufacturer is 10 years which will more than cover your payback period. I hope this has been helpful. Please keep a lookout because we're making lots of videos with all the frequently asked questions. And if this one's been helpful, I'm sure some of the others will too. Thanks very much.